When you try too hard to be unique, you sometimes show people the notion that you're actually mundane. Wear things that you genuinely like. Don't wear something just because it's in fashion. And don't wear something just because you think it will get you a lot of attention unless you're prepared to also get negative attention. You need to have the attitude of, well, if you don't like it, tough. You know, and if you can't take the negative attention, then don't wear it. You can't expect everyone to pretend to like everything. I mean, because if we're at that point, how honest are we as people? Occasionally, once in a blue moon, some really outrageous things sit right with people. But most of the time, that's not the case. Sometimes finding that out can be an adventure. I get it. I understand that pushing boundaries can be fun. But we've seemed to have reached a point where nothing is really that edgy anymore. Really in just about anything, from philosophies to ideologies to fashion to revisionist history. We've also never abandoned the notion that your fashion sense can tell people your ideologies and philosophies. So what do you want to be associated with? If you're in a bigger city, it's not uncommon to occasionally see people that are wearing fashion and doing makeup styles that you'd expect from drag queens. I honestly, as I've said before, I, I picture at some point in the maybe not too distant future, people getting their skin dyed in weird colors, like the same way that you can get a fake tan, right? They'll get their skin dyed in weird colors to be the opposite color of what they make their hair, right? Completely the opposite, so it's really contrasting, right? And then, of course, 10 years later, they'll be talking about, uh, you know, uh, here, uh, call this number for a lawyer if you got cancer from from using this, this dye, right? So go ahead and be as edgy as you want, but you can't expect everyone to congratulate you for it. You don't get a participation award. And people are going to assume a lot of things about you that might not be true. And that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is.